It was such a tiny, imperceptible movement that I don't know how I even saw it. Just a little flicker in the corner of my eye, but it stopped me dead in my tracks. That little mud-plugged tube that someone had called home for the past winter suddenly had a window in it and a face was poking out. Not a face I had met before, although our families mingled in the same social circles every summer. This was a face of a springtime newcomer, and I was instantly transfixed as I stood silently and watched as she chipped away at the mud wall that had kept her cozy all winter. I hadn't really paid much attention to the bee house mounted beside my patio door. It was a gift from my sister, a Costco find which meant it was not exactly nature approved, more of an aesthetic addition to my garden than a utilitarian one. Nevertheless, two of the little tubes had become plugged with mud the previous autumn, but still I hadn't really paid too much attention. But now I could see that someone had moved in and was now in the process of moving out. Who are you? I asked the creature. She told me she was way too busy to chat and I should go Google it, which I did. The interwebs informed me she was a newly hatched mason bee and she probably had eight siblings in there with her. They were all hatching together and were hungry. And with horror, I realized that my pantry was bare. What was there to eat in this green desert? In a rush, a deep understanding of the words of a wise girl who from a young age had pleaded with me, Mom, geraniums are from California. We're in Hamilton, Mom. Natives, Mom. They need native flowers. And finally, I got it. It wasn't hard to kill the grass. A few yards of wood chips on cardboard took care of that. Bev kindly shared her knowledge and her seed babies with me, and I harvested a few seeds myself from Jen's York pollinator patch. The neighbors walking their dogs sometimes stop and ask, what are you up to here? As they quizzically look at my newly wood chipped front lawn, peppered with Southern Ontario native seedlings. I reply that I'm fulfilling a promise to a pixie girl who understands these things and creating a buffet for some family friends who come to stay each summer.